Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Commodity TV and here at the PDAC 2023 in Toronto. Today is the last day after four really busy days. I have the honor to introduce you to Phil Williams, the executive chairman of Labrador Uranium. Hi, Phil. How's it going? I'm great. How are you doing? All good. All good. How was the fair? Uh, the fair was amazing. The PDAC, I, I, I think this was one of the biggest turnouts. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I haven't seen it this busy in a, in a long time. And particularly for uranium, the enthusiasm was was excellent. Uh, all the uranium presentation rooms were full. And, uh, and certainly, maybe next to lithium, it was one of the most talked about metals at the conference. Well, that's a good sign. A very good sign. Of course. So let's talk about Labrador. Your company is named Labrador Uranium. So your projects are also in Labrador. Um, what is this area so spe specific about? So we're in central Labrador in yeah. what's called the central mineral belt. Yeah. This is a prolific area for metal. Mm -hmm. it's, it's perspective for uranium, of course, but also for copper, for vanadium, for some rare earths and moly. Um, but what's really exciting about it is it's been underexplored in its history. Despite a 50-year history, uh, the camp is, is, is only, their own people have only just scratched the surface in terms of exploration at the Central Mineral Belt. Ah, okay. And for the Central Mineral Belt project, you also um, yeah, released a new, a new news about your targeting. So what's your focus on that? So look, the focus of, at Labrador is kind of two focused. Mm -hmm. One part of our strategy is to build on the existing resources that we have. Okay. So we have resources at an area called Moran Lake yeah. and at Anna Lake. And so one track of our focus is to expand those resources. Mm -hmm. We did drill last year and we, and we hit uranium outside of the resource at Moran Lake. And we're going to do some targeting at Anna Lake this year. The second part of our strategy is belt wide. So we have, we have a very, very large land position there. We have over 150,000 hectares. Wow. We're the dominant player in the camp. Yeah. But it's a lot of it's a lot of ground, mm -hmm, so we mm -hmm. have to use modern exploration te techniques yeah. to try to zero in on where the prospective areas are, and so that's what we're doing. So what you're the announcement you're referring to is is we're using uh, machine learning and in, and artificial intelligence to take all of that historic data and create what we call simply heat maps, yeah. which basically identify areas and. There'll be these maps that you've seen before where there'll be red spots that identify areas that are prospective for uranium outside of the known areas and also for copper, which is uh, a very interesting potential in this area. In fact, it's why people came to the central mineral belt in the first place looking for IOCG deposits, which are, mm -hmm. which are very big copper deposits around the world. Wow. Okay, perfect. And... Um... Do you want to drill this year? So you are, you drilled last year, you said. How, how was the drill program for this year? We'd certainly like to drill this year. We drilled six holes last year. Okay. We hit mineralization, as I said, extensions from the yeah. known resources. And so we're taking all of that information and, uh, and looking at where to drill this year. We have $7.3 million budget for the year, including a uh, district-wide gravity survey, mm -hmm. but also we have some funds allocated for drilling. And it's fully funded? That program is fully funded. That $7.3 million is on our balance sheet today. We have over $11 million in cash okay. and seven point three million allocated towards the program this year. Wow. So all these works needs uh, a good team. Let's talk about the team. How's the situation there? Yeah, we're very uh, happy with our team. We've, we've recently added an exploration manager who has history in the area. He worked for the predecessor company that drilled out this, the Moran Lake deposit. And, uh, and so he's just joined the team. But we have a lot of bench strength. And importantly, we have local people. Yeah. Our team is based in St. John's, so they're in they're in the the province, and uh, and we have a multidiscipline team. So we have structural geologists, we have PhDs in in working with big data sets. We have people that have worked in uranium in the camp, but also in the Athabasca Basin. So a very good, well-rounded team to execute on our programs. That sounds good. And uh, your project is close by Paladin, so that's of course a big big advantage. How do you see that? So, or how do the investors and uh, the audience, the last days, how, how they're seeing that? So, I, I think the way investors should look at that is they should go back in the history and look at that project. So, you're referring to the Michelin deposit. It yeah. sits at the eastern end of the belt, and our ground surrounds that project. Exactly. When that when that project was first being drilled out, it was in a company called Aurora Energy. 
Aurora went from a market cap of $200 million to about $1.2 billion by spending a lot of money executing the same strategy that we're going to execute today, which is expanding known resources and looking for new deposits in, in the region. Fast forward to today, the project was acquired by Paladin, and, and it, over the last several years, they haven't really done anything on the project. We're hearing now they're going to get active again. Our, our information is that they might spend up to $10 million on that project this year, and that would be f that would be fantastic for us because more attention in the camp yeah. is better for us. And 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 we have resources. The Anna Lake resource is right around uh, Michelin, and we have a very exciting exploration target at Mustang Lake, which is right on trend with the main Michelin deposit. Wow! So, uh, new news are coming for sure. It's going to be a busy year. There's a lot of money being spent, a lot of work being done, uh, and we'll be very excited to update the market as it comes. And we will also update all our investors then with the new press releases. Excellent. Thank you very much, Phil, uh, for your time and all the best for the company. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, that was Phil Williams, the executive chairman of Labrador Uranium. And you heard it. The company is doing pretty well. The next program is fully funded. They have beautiful, outstanding projects. And the next news will be come. So check out the company and we will keep you posted.